Ahoy sailors and welcome back to Sailors 365. Come aboard with us in today's episode as we explore the topic of bringing your own alcoholic beverages and their associated corkage fees on board Princess Cruises. Grab a refreshing drink, non-alcoholic for now, because when it comes to alcoholic beverages, Princess Cruises has a well-defined policy to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for all guests. As stated in the passage contract, guests are not allowed to bring any alcoholic beverages on board for consumption. However, Princess does allow one exception to this rule. Huh? A single bottle of wine, boxed wine, or champagne per adult of drinking age, up to 750 milliliters per voyage. And the best part, if you choose to enjoy your bottle in the comfort of your stateroom, there won't be any additional charges. It's a win-win. But what if you prefer a particular wine or champagne and wish to savor it in one of the ship's splendid restaurants or lounges? Not to worry, Princess extends a warm welcome to additional bottles of wine or champagne, again, as long as it's no larger than 750 milliliters. However, it's important to remember that each bottle will incur a modest corkage fee of $20, $30 for Australia sailings, regardless of where you intend to enjoy it. This fee helps cover the service and amenities provided by the onboard staff, ensuring a top-notch experience for all guests. It's also important to remember that bringing liquor, spirits, or beers from outside the ship is not permitted. Princess offers an extensive selection of beverages on board, including various handcrafted cocktails, premium spirits, and delightful beers to satisfy every taste bud. So, leave the heavy lifting to the talented bartenders, who will be thrilled to blend up a refreshing drink just for you. To maintain the integrity of these onboard policies, all guest luggage will be scanned upon embarkation. If any alcohol outside of what we already reviewed is found, shoreside security staff will promptly remove and discard it. So, let's avoid the embarrassment and disappointment, and remember to adhere to these guidelines to ensure you have a smooth and hassle-free start to your cruise. Now, what about those irresistible duty-free purchases or the exciting alcoholic finds during your shore excursions? Fret not, if you happen to acquire alcoholic beverages from the ship's gift shop or ports of call, Princess will collect them for safekeeping. A member of the ship's staff will be available at the gangway to assist you with storing your shoreside alcoholic treasures. Rest assured, your cherished purchases will be delivered to your stateroom on the last day of your cruise. But what if you're on a back-to-back -back voyage or embarking on a captivating world cruise segment? Each new cruise is treated as a new voyage, providing an opportunity for you to relish in the experience all over again. Guests are allowed one bottle per person for back-to-back -back voyages with a single booking number. And if you have multiple booking numbers, you're in luck. Each booking number entitles you to an additional bottle per person, so it's the perfect chance to indulge in your favorite wines and champagnes throughout your voyage. Speaking of world cruises, Princess grants you even more flexibility if you're embarking on an extended journey across multiple segments. On the first segment of your world cruise, you may bring up to five bottles of wine, boxed wine, or champagne. Again, remember that each bottle should not exceed 750 milliliters without incurring a corkage fee if consumed in public areas. So, choose your selections wisely and get ready to savor the taste of the world with every sip. For those lucky guests who receive wine, champagne, or other alcoholic delights from the ship stock as part of special services or gifts, you're in luck too because these special beverages are not subject to any corkage fees. Now that you're well-versed in the ins and outs of bringing alcoholic beverages and the associated corkage fees on board Princess Cruises, it's time to embark on your own cruise adventure. Remember, whether you choose to enjoy your favorite wine in the privacy of your stateroom or raise a glass in one of the ship's elegant venues, Princess Cruises is committed to providing you with an exceptional experience. So, have you ever brought your own alcoholic beverages on board, and did you have to pay a corkage fee? Let us know in the comments section below, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time! 
That's all for now, sailors. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel, hit the like button on this video, and we'll see you next time, sailing on the high seas.